let me introduce to you the basis of team-based learning approach. Here is a very powerful statement. Classroom time needs to be used for solving problems and not just transmittal of information. This statement changes our concept of usage of classroom time. The classroom time is to be used to solve problems and tackle issues based on the knowledge and skills gained by the students before coming to this session. And it is not only to be used for transmittal of information or facts. To understand TBL better, we need to familiarize ourselves with two educational concepts. One is zone of proximal development and other is scaffolding. The concept of zone of proximal development was presented by a Russian psychologist named Vygotsky. According to this concept, any topic which we want to teach can be divided into three portions. First, the easiest part, which students may learn themselves, or some of them may be familiar with that part even before the session. The second is a relatively difficult part, which is labeled as zone of proximal development. And this is where teachers need to help the students to understand that content better. And third portion may be beyond the reach of the students at that particular time and stage of training. So if we want to spend too much time on the first portion, that may be wastage of time and may appear very boring to the students. So as a teacher, we should be concentrating more on the portion under the label of zone of proximal development. And this is where the students really need teachers help to understand that content better. Teachers may use technology and tools to help the students to understand this portion. The second concept is scaffolding. Scaffolding is a process in which teachers model or demonstrate how to solve a problem and then step back offering support as needed. This means that teachers demonstrate or explain to the students how to handle a issue or a solve a problem and then let the students proceed themselves. Teacher helps the students only when the help is needed. Otherwise, students would keep on trying to solve the problems themselves. The theory is that when students are given the support they need, while learning something new, they stand a better chance of using that knowledge independently. Scaffolding refers to a variety of instructional techniques used to move students progressively towards stronger understanding and ultimately greater independence in the learning process. This means that scaffolding helps us to produce independent learners and lifelong learners. So continuing with the introduction to team-based learning, it is an active learning and small group instructional strategy that provides students with opportunities to learn a concept and apply the newly learned conceptual knowledge to solve a problem or tackle an issue through a sequence of activities. And these activities may include individual work or group or team work, and also gives an opportunity to the lecturers to provide feedback to the students. This statement may appear as a complex uh, statement. Let us break it into smaller components to understand it. TBL is an active learning process. It is a small group instructional strategy. 
It provides students with opportunities to learn a new concept and soon after apply the newly learned conceptual knowledge to solve a problem or tackle an issue through a sequence of activities. And these activities may include individual work, group or team work, and provide an opportunity to the lecturer to give feedback to the students. TBL is specifically characterized by three components. First, individual as advanced assignment for students and lecturer preparation. Second, individual and group readiness assurance tests. And third, team decision making and application of knowledge or concepts. The same thing is shown in this diagram. The phase one, which is pre-class individual study. The phase two, which includes individual readiness assurance test, group readiness assurance test, team appeals, instructor feedback, and phase three, where students appear in the team application exercises. Here is a list of sequence of activities for a TBL session. Step one, advanced assignment for students and preparation of two sets of questions by the lecturer. The first set at the comprehension level and second set at the application and evaluation level following the Bloom's taxonomy. The second step, identification of small groups and group leaders. Third step, individual readiness assurance test using set one. Step four, group readiness assurance test using again the same set of questions. Step five, display of group readiness assurance test results. Step six, teacher clarification review on the group readiness assurance test results question by question. Then the team application test using the second set of question, which is leveled at the application and evaluation according to Bloom's taxonomy. Step eight, display of team application test results. And step nine, discussion on team application test results and their answers one by one. A wrap up session by the lecturer and then the debriefing uh, session with the students and then the appeals if students have any issues regarding the questions are, are the answers and discussion about that. The further details of uh, these steps would be produced or presented in the next uh, short video labeled as steps of a TBL session.